guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be reviewing and discussing a little bit, very briefly, The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. And I read this because Heather over at Bookables, and I'll link her channel below, is doing a book club for Sarah Dessen, and this is the first pick for September. Well, this is the first month, and this is the first book that she picked for, obviously, the book club. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is my very first Sarah Dessen book ever. I've never read any of her books and this is my very first book club. So if you um, are also in the book club then that's awesome and she has a tag, hashtag on Twitter called Sarah Dessen Book Club so if you want to like see other people that are in the book club then just look that hashtag up and there we all are. So anyways, truth about forever. <sighs> Where do I begin? Alright, first let's do the review of the book. This book is about a girl named Macy who is going through a hard time. Her dad just passed away and she's trying to figure out how to um, grieve and how to grow and how to live with the knowledge that her dad passed away. Yeah, it's just basically about her finding herself and her growing as a character. There are a couple of main characters in this book that I really, really enjoyed. There is not a lot of romance, which is something a little bit different for me. I'm not a huge YA contemporary fan just because of those... Just because there usually isn't a lot of romance in the books, and I like romance. I like relationships and stuff, so... I went into this thinking a little bit that she would fall in love with a guy and, you know, he'd make her better kind of thing, but that really wasn't the case. And I actually think it worked out better than if she would have just fallen in love with a guy and it would be an all hunky-dory kind of thing. This is more of a contemporary growing and finding yourself coming of age story and I really really enjoyed it. I give it 4 out of 5 stars. I understand people say that Sarah Dessen's books are slow because there's a lot of description and a lot of building and um, in the beginning I felt that kind of way I was kind of bored and I was just kind of like ah oh, well I'll just set it down but then once you get invested in the book, which it took me like this much, maybe more, like around this area, and once I got invested, it like, I couldn't put it down. Except for, well, I did put it down for a little while, but that's because my dad went on um, a business trip and dad dying and ugh, I have anxiety and I didn't want to deal with that, so I had to put it down for that, but I didn't lose any aspects of the story by putting it down. I didn't was anything. I mean, this was just a great book overall. So, yeah, I got it four out of four stars. Four to four. Four to five stars, and I really enjoyed it. Now, the discussion part of it, some of it I probably will spoil, so if you haven't read this book, then I don't recommend you watch this, but I'm not, I didn't write down a whole lot, so I'm not really sure what I will spoil, so um, I'm just gonna let you take it in your own hands. If you don't want anything spoiled in the book, then I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you check this book out, because it's really good, and it's really heartwarming, heart, heartwarming story. No, I think it's a great story that people should read, so if you haven't read this book, then thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you come back and discuss this book with us. Alright, discussion part. There isn't a whole lot that I wrote down just because with it being contemporary there wasn't a whole lot for me to write down. I didn't feel like I needed to, I don't know, I didn't really have a lot of like crazy feelings or stuff like that. So I didn't write a whole lot down. But I will share with you what I did write down. And like I said, I don't know if it's spoilery or not, so if you haven't read the book then alright. I already said that. One of the things that I didn't like in the book, just like I don't enjoy, <laughs> it's not that I don't enjoy it, but I just makes me feel really like ugh, inside is that her dad died. I don't like stories where dad dies. I'm just really close with my dad and I don't ever want to think about him dying so it's just I didn't like that aspect of the book but that's my personal opinion that has no effect on the book at all. I didn't think I mean the book was really good so that's not why I mean like, I, don't, I don't hate it hate the book because of that reason I just it's like a Nicholas Sparks, you know, like, ugh, just makes me so sad. Just don't like that in books anyway, so. 
That was one thing I wrote down. All right, one of the things I really enjoyed about this book was the character development and the relationship. Well, I love the character development, but I want to talk specifically about the relationship development. I loved how the right relationships weren't like thrown together and all of a sudden they had all these feelings for each other um, or like they hate each other or whatever. All the characters in the book grew as like if you were going to have a friendship in real life and I really really enjoyed that because not a lot of books do that sometimes it's unrealistic and this it just reminded me of like meeting new friends and I mean there's a little bit of non you know non reality but that's fiction book anyway but just really really liked it and I liked that the relationships weren't rushed and I liked that throughout the book they weren't just oh we're best friends like they had to continue to work on the relationships throughout the book like for example the relationship with her mom and the relationship with Wes and the relationship with Christy all of those people Macy like had to work at her relationships and I really enjoyed that aspect of the story I also really um, liked the character development, like I was saying before. I love the character development. I love that the, the, there wasn't useless characters. Does that make sense? All of the characters in the story played a major part into Macy. Made, all of the characters in the story played a major part in Macy's life, and they helped her grow as a character. For example, you know, Wes. I loved that she could. I love that she depended on Wes, not really dependent, but her happiness went alongside with how Wes was making her come out of her shell. And I love that in this book, you know in some books, well in most aspects of life, being dependent on somebody isn't a very good thing, but sometimes when you're grieving and you find someone that has something in common with you, it's a, I think it's a really, really strong thing. It's, it's realistic. I mean, if someone is grieving and they've been doing it for a very long time, then, and they can't get out of it, you know, they can't seem to move on, and then some person comes along and changes their view of the world or helps them come out of their shell, that's realistic to me. And just because it was a boy, it doesn't matter because it's still, they still had a friendship before anything happened. And I really enjoyed how throughout the book it wasn't a major point where they were falling in love and he was making everything better. It was like they were both playing off each other and growing with each other. I just really liked the character development. I think it was awesome. I also love that Macy in the book, she didn't, um, she wasn't like, you know, in most contemporary novels or the ones that I've read, the main character is going through a hard time or she's trying to grow as a person or something. As she's doing that, She's also becoming someone that she's not. As Missy, I didn't really see that as much. I feel like she was growing and she wasn't being hurtful or harmful to any of her relationships. It was like she's just continuing who she already was but making it stronger. And I really enjoyed that. Yeah, like I said, she was coming into her own in the story, but she wasn't doing it in a negative way. She was standing up for herself, she was coming out of her shell, she was getting over the loss of her father, and it wasn't negative in any type of way. And I really enjoyed that because in most young adult books I've read, it's negative and then all of a sudden the character has like this epiphany that she's turning into somebody that she's not, and then, you know, she changes. But with this, Macy was like, in the beginning she was just trying to get through life, and then by the end she was living her life. And I really, I really enjoyed that part of the story. Oh, one thing I did say was that I did like the game they were playing. I thought that was super cute where they had to tell the truth. I thought that was so cool and it's such a unique way to get to know somebody and there's so many things that you can learn about somebody and I don't know, I really, really liked it. There wasn't a lot that I really hated about the book. It was a little bit slow but I felt like that was a way to connect with characters and it allowed you to connect with them or with Macy. I don't know. I didn't, it was slow but it wasn't like so slow that I was like falling asleep. I was invested in the characters, I was invested in the story the whole time. So I really enjoyed it. I also think that this book would make an amazing movie. I think that everything that happens in this book is something that people can take away from. Like it doesn't matter if you, you know, have a parent that's passed or a family member that's passed or if you're just kind of floundering around and don't know what to do. I just think that there's a lot of aspects of this book that is relatable and it would make, I think in my opinion, it would make a great movie. So get on that Sarah Dessen or whoever makes movies, Warner Bros or something, I don't know. Anyways, I'm done.
rambling about this book. I really enjoyed it. I it's a lot better than I was expecting and yeah, I don't know. I just really, really liked it. I hope you check it out. I'm definitely gonna continue with this book club thing. I really just I'm going to continue with this, so expect more Sarah Dessen book reviews because that's what's going to happen. I really enjoyed this one, and I'm done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great day. I hope you check out this book. I'll leave it in the link. I'll leave it in the link. All right. I'll leave a link in the description as well as a link to Heather's channel in the description. Bookables. It's her channel. Yeah, all my sites are in the description. Sarah Dessen. Medicine. I can see why people like her stories. Bye guys! Can I do double wave? I like the double wave. Double wave. Mm. I'm signing off. Shh. I'm gonna go ride my bike. Sickle. I was gonna say bike, but get my bicycle.